Hello, I'm Leo Kloiwa at University of Toronto. I present a branch and cut approach for a mixed integer linear programming compilation of optimal numeric planning. We focus on linear numeric planning. Suppose a planning task to water a plant. An agent has a watering pot and the goal is to power water onto the plant. A state contains numeric variables. Variables H and V represent the horizontal and vertical positions of the agent. C and P represent the amount of water carried by the agent and powered onto the plant. The goal is represented by linear inequality P is greater than or equal to 2. In the initial state, action move left is applicable. Applying this, H is reduced by 1. Now, the agent is at the position of a watering tap. Load is applicable, and applying load increases C by 1. After loading 2 units of water, the agent heads for the plant. The agent may go straight or go in a zigzag line. Applying power twice achieves the goal condition. I introduce an existing MILP compilation of numeric planning. The objective is to minimize the sum of cost of actions in a plan. Binary decision variable XAT indicates whether action A is applied at time step T. YVT indicates the value of variable V at T. We need fixed time horizon T to model a planning task. In general, we do not know appropriate T to obtain an optimal plan. In practice, Time horizon T is iteratively extended from a lower bound, and multiple models with different time horizons are solved until an optimal plan is found. Using the example, I show similar constraints related to actions. Move up requires V is less than or equal to 1 as a precondition. The constraint ensures that YVT is less than or equal to 1 if move up is applied at T. The constant effects on V are represented by one constraint that sums up the constant effect on V by actions. In the model, Multiple actions can be applied at the same time step if they do not interfere. For example, when move up and move left are applicable, applying move left after move up results in this state. If we reverse the order, after applying move left, move up is still applicable, and the resulting state is the same. These two actions do not interfere. In general, if multiple actions can be applied in any order and the resulting state is uniquely determined, they can be applied at the same time step. In contrast, if actions interfere, they cannot be applied at the same time step. In this state, load is applicable. Applying move up makes load not applicable. A constraint prohibits applying these two actions at the same time step is introduced. In general, if one action has negative effects on a precondition of another action, they cannot be applied at the same time step. So far, I explained the constraints in the existing model. 
Now, I introduce new ideas used in our method. Although move up and load cannot be applied at the same time step in the existing model, in practice, applying move up after load is possible since load has no negative effect on the preconditions of move up. We capture these precedence relations of actions using an action precedence graph, a directed graph where nodes are actions. We create an edge from load to move up, which means that at the same time step, move up must be applied after load. The graph possibly contains cycles. In this state, move up left and move up right are applicable. However, applying move up left, move up right is no longer applicable. We introduce an edge from move up right to move up left. Similarly, applying move left is impossible after applying move up right. We also create an edge from move up left to move up right. As a result, we cannot determine the order to apply these two actions. The two actions cannot be applied at the same time step. If multiple actions do not form a cycle in the action precedence graph, they can be applied in some order at the same time step. However, if they form a cycle, they cannot be applied at the same time step as in the existing model. To ensure this, we need cycle elimination constraint in the action precedence graph. However, there are an exponential number of cycles in the graph. Expressly eliminating all the constraints can be computationally expensive. Therefore, we use a branch and cut algorithm which lazily generates the constraints when a solution containing cycles is found. Suppose that initially the model has no cycle elimination constraint and a solution is found. In the solution, move left is applied at time step 0, load is applied at time step 1 since it is not applicable at time step 0. Load is applied again at time step 2. Move up left is applicable at time step 2, and the model has no cycle elimination constraint related to load and move up left. Therefore, move up left is applied at time step 2. Move up right is also applied at time step 2. Power is applied at time step 3 and 4. The branch and cut algorithm finds a plan with time horizon of 4. However, at time step 2, move up left and move up right form a cycle in the action precedence graph. Therefore, a cycle elimination constraint is introduced. Now, the branch and cut algorithm finds another solution satisfying newly added constraint. Time step 0 and time step 1 are the same as uh, before. At time step 2, load and move up left are applied. Now, move up right is applied at Time step 3. Due to, this is due to the cycle elimination constraint added by the branch and cut method. 
the branch undercut method, find a plan with time horizon of 5. In the existing model, since load and move up left interfere, all actions are applied at different time steps and time step time horizon of 6 is required to find this plan. Therefore, our branch and cut method reduces time horizon. We experimentally compared CSC, the existing mid compilation, and CSC cut, our branch and cut method. In four domains, our method improves the performance. In these domains, except for sailing, the number of iterations to extend time horizon is reduced. Although our branch and cut method improves the performance in some domains, in total, the difference is small. Generating benchmark problems to contrast the difference between the two MILP methods can be future work. Compared with other approaches, including heuristic search, the milp based method performs worse. However, pursuing better MILP compilation of planning tasks is important because we possibly benefit from the progress of off-the-shelf MILP solvers. <laughs>